Hey there, it's CJ Willie and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number four in my 1987 Sportflix baseball box. Since each pack only has three cards in it, I'll talk about my memory of the player from the 1980s and maybe something specific about the player from the 1986 MLB season. I will also test my knowledge to see if I can remember the fun facts from the two team logo trivia cards. Will I remember or will my memory fail me? Let's get to cracking this pack. Let's move the box out of the way. And get into our Sport Clicks Baseball Pack. Yeah, looks like we got Keith Hernandez on the back. Let's flip it over like this. And get to talking about this pack. Okay, first up we have the two team logo trivia cards. We've got the Phillies. Let's take a look at the stats on the back. It's the team season records. So many of these records are from 1929, 1930, 1929. Some of the more recent, Mike Schmidt is their season record holder of 48 home runs. That was set in 1980. In 1984, Al Holland and Steve Bedrosian tied for the saves record. My guess is most of those records have stood except for a couple of the batting records like home runs and RBIs and more than likely the saves record. Next up, we have the Houston Astros team logo card. So it has on the back Houston Astros team standings. So in 1986, the Astros were first in the National League West with a 96 and 66 record. And it goes all the way back to 1977. The last time the Astros were in first place was in 1980 when they went 93 and 70 and they faced the Phillies in the National League Championship Series. Unfortunately, the Astros lost to the Phillies and the Phillies went on to the 1980 World Series and were victorious. Okay, our first player appears to be Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry was a superstar in the 80s. Came up with the Mets in 1983, hit 26 home runs and 74 RBI. Perennial All-Star, usually hit around 25 to 30 home runs each year. If it wasn't for a lot of the drug problems that he ran into, Del Strawberry would probably be in the Hall of Fame. He's one of those players that what could have been if he hadn't got tangled up in a lot of controversy regarding drugs. Okay, next we have Steve Garvey from the Padres. Garvey originally came up with the Dodgers and was an all-star with the Dodgers for a number of years, then moved along to the Padres. I think that Steve Garvey should be in the Hall of Fame. He had well over 2,000 career hits, 300 home runs, about 13 to 1400 RBI and was a gold glove first baseman and for many years in the National League he led the league in consecutive games played. He didn't get close to Cal Ripken or Luke Gehrig but he was an iron horse for the National League. Later on in his life he had political aspirations. Those didn't pan out so well. Take a look at his Wikipedia page and see how well he did in the public spotlight post-career. He even dabbled in acting our final card in the pack is Keith Hernandez. Hernandez originally came up with the Cardinals and then moved on to the Mets. Hernandez was part of the 1982 World Series champion, St. Louis Cardinals. He was an MVP in 1979 with Willie Stargell, one of the only times that there have been co-MVPs. Moved on to the Mets and won a World Series in 1986. He was part of the Miracle Mets team that came from behind and beat the Red Sox after it appeared that they would have the World Series wrapped up in Game 6 in 1986. Hernandez finished his playing career out with the Indians in the early 90s. My favorite card out of the pack is going to be Daryl Strawberry. He evokes a lot of controversy. He had a ton of promise coming up with the Mets. Looked like he was going to have a Hall of Fame career. After he moved on to the Dodgers in 1991, he just couldn't stay healthy. Bounced around with the Dodgers, the Giants, World Series rings with the Yankees, but just was not the same player. And he really does fall into the category of what could have been.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also share with me in the comments what your favorite card or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number five in my 1987 Sport Flicks baseball box.